Hi guys, good morning. I just wanted to say I am off to the African shop. This is another African shop. I've not shown you guys this one before. Um, it's actually a bit of an Asian shop, but uh, I call it the African shop because it has like literally everything that you would like. And this one actually has quite a few branches branches because the one I showed you the last time, you only I, I think I only know it as one branch, but this one has quite a few around here, Yorkshire area. So come along with me as I go to the shop. Guys, um, do not hesitate to click that subscribe button. You're not getting my notifications because you've not clicked on the bell icon. Beside the subscribe button is the bell icon. Click on that and you will never miss a notification ever when I post. But yeah, thank you so much. Don't forget to like. Like this video, it helps a lot. Like this video, engage in the comment section. Leave me a comment, come on guys. And you guys see you when I get there. Guys, so I'm here to buy a few things. Please, I want to be accounting, but I don't want to come and buy more than I've planned to buy and stuff. So yeah. And that's the entrance. It's actually quite big. These guys, I'm not even joking. They're really, really good. Come on, let me get a trolley. See me, I'm already getting trolley. Me that said I'm buying only one thing. You people, save me, save my life. Help me, help me in this life. I like the fact that they are smaller trolleys. So that for people like me, that, so that we don't come out of our bed. Right, so this is the entrance. And I just want to show you, like, there are lots of stuff here already. I'm not even messing with you. Okay, so these are their massive bags of onions. Here I'm showing you basmati rice, elephant rice. This one is 5 kg, as you can see. Um, I was, I think I was trying to find the price of it, most probably around there, and I just missed it. But these are your other food items, even before you enter the actual shop, from your chili peppers, crushed chilies, to your sesame seeds, and whatever other um, grains and stuff are out there. I know as you walk inside, there's like curry, gram flour, spices in big bags. These are flowers. I was even just showing you the barbecue, um, disposable barbecues. Right. So when I entered the shop, I had a few things on my list. I was just exploring the oil section to see whether it was palatable. I think that this big oil is £7.50, just from what I could see there. And I know that it's usually stock up like malt, like maltina, different types of malt, malta Guinness and stuff. This is um, chicken noodles. Apparently, the, the pack is very different too. It shows no but chat pattern so i think I, I picked up this one can you see it says no but the normal no i know doesn't look like this this is like baby no because the size is eh, like after i cooked it um, it was so tiny i was just like you can cook two and two is almost equivalent to and eh, one pack of normal indomie size <laughs> like maybe one and a half packs but that's how small it is all right i'm just checking out the um corn whether it's african corn Cause it looks so nice and green and fresh but no I, I i think i pressed it the thing was quite soft so i knew it was just your regular sweet corn so nothing too fancy as i was walking along the aisle i was just wanting to show you guys that they have all sorts of things in this freezer from your ginger and garlic to your cassava you know already peeled cassava that like you all you just need to do is just boil if you make like a batcha and stuff like that these are like your um spices they even have like chicken butter butter chicken um okra you name it like literally peas mixed veg everything i was just trying to show you guys all the things they have these breaded chickens are actually quite good so they have your chicken goujons your um chicken burgers chicken nuggets any chicken 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 all this popcorn chicken and it's very good for like kids and stuff because if like say for instance you want a quick meal for your kids i'm just showing that this is three pounds for just the chicken the popcorn chicken if you just want to make a quick meal when they are back from school chips and just chuck this either into the oven or the air fryer in minutes it's done and they had like they have these like shish kebab sticks as well it, it, it tastes a bit like sausage but with like some asian spices spices and stuff it's not spicy it's just you know if you, if you try a shish kebab it's like a different 
it probably is like an acquired taste but um it is quite nice uh, and quick for like kids <laughs> see my hair hanging in the freezer because i'm trying to get the the smaller pack of the breaded chicken nuggets anyway i think i ended up picking this one you know some chicken there every chicken nugget tastes different this one tastes like very soft i don't know how to explain it when i say soft like you cook it and you can taste it's like moist inside it's not dry i don't know what kind of part, part of the chicken they use or maybe they just blend the different parts so it's very very moist inside and stuff so kids will probably like it it's three pounds 99 is what i was showing you there yeah, I was just confirming that that was the price. So you have your ginger and garlic paste. For those who of us who don't want to be peeling too much ginger and garlic a lot, you can just chuck it in. Your food, these are your burger meats, samosas, spring rolls. Like, guys, I'm not even joking. Different sizes of spring rolls. So £10.99. I think there was the, for the smaller size, it's £5.99, as you can see on just on, on the, for, sorry, £5.49. Spring rolls, 20 pieces is five pounds 49 so yeah um, the more the merrier now this sauce section just reminds me of the takeaway shop where you go there you ask for chili you ask for burger sauce you ask for garlic mayo i'm sure that these guys this is where they all buy it from <laughs> but yeah uh all your curries if you want to make tikka masala if you want to make chicken coma just just things that you just those jarred curries that you just pour in the pan and put chicken or meat and you put on top of rice that was that right so your boxes of yam i think a box of yam was 35 pounds if i if i showed you i'm not quite i don't know if i showed you i might have shown you yes i did so um plantain box is 40 pounds and i think on the other side box yam box is 33 pounds yay so it's actually i think the price has gone back down because i know that there was a time it was about 35 pounds not just here just in general i know some people will go to manchester to get and stuff but it's gone down a bit now which is good so your different types of plantains or so yellow plantain green plantain anyone that you want <laughs> right so in this freezer are different types of fish i've not seen this type of small fish before it looks like all those uh, <laughs> all those things that we used to watch anyway i'm just going along just trying to put some more things in the basket just so i'd not get carried away and start buying things that i did not see i was buying and i was just enjoying the music this is why your girl is doing uh, voiceover because the copyright that these people want to buy me on my channel is real you know when you're shopping and they just put all this nice music and you just be dancing this is what i was doing <laughs> anyway i was i'm vlogging as well so i was i was not, not able to put on the sound but i was just trying to show you that i like buying the mayonnaise sorry um salad cream from nigeria and um but i also buy it from this shop as well glucose d guys do you remember this is one pound 69 by the way remember when we used to do it i was 14 school <laughs> and we used to run when you're now tired you now sit down for your red house gray house they will now give you glucose to to leak to give you more energy <laughs> good days and then this is your friend section though <laughs> good price one pound 99 for uh, a loaf of bread these are all sweet bread so it's like if you know like a gigi bread i was just trying to show you that it's quite soft so you can tell that it's good and stuff so your agigi even though my agigi is there but i think they've bought it all they finished it using it and um, buying it i see using it <laughs> i was just going back to show you some other parts of this shop which relate to like african food and stuff so you have your red pepper and it's always plenty people have come here to come out pack it <laughs> green pepper yellow pepper and stuff you have your normal ground nuts that you can boil or you can roast whichever me i always like to boil this one ah i used to like to have my niger feel you know those boiled ground that you just have to put small salts just boil it inside water literally and you're good to go I was showing you your regular just um pure heaven wine, all those grape fruits wine, grape grape juice wine and everything all there so if you're trying to make hampers or you're trying to give to people at least you know where to find it they do eggs here they do all types of malt afri malt super malt higher malt every every kind of malt <laughs> all the malt is <laughs> malt -sons. these are your grains or your rice your noodles your pastas your if if you're asian and you cook all these um, um is it millet I can't remember what they are called, but yeah. Um, all these greens are lentils. Yes, lentils. Right. So, um, this is your noodle section. I was just showing you utensils there, just in case you're wondering where I was pointing. I was just showing you utensils to use. Um, 
these are different types of noodles oh. hmm. my people my people so there's indomie here but they also do the box of indomie which is on the other side this one is just for the singles so i just i didn't want to buy a box because i know that i just give my kids once a week so um i just thought you know what even if i just bought like six that should be sufficient for the month for them me, I'm the one that is into me eater here. So I can I can come and see balance and buy books for myself. Anyway, if you're looking for party stuff or just things to just grill or roast in that's takeaway, you can find here. Like disposable, sorry. Yeah, well, takeaway and disposable is the same thing. Uh, you can find it here. Your barbecue sticks, your skewers, your those bean bags. This is the Chinese section that you're going to go and balance inside. I think I was looking for a few things. So I was looking for sesame oil, for oyster sauce, for sweet chili. I think that's sesame oil. I did not pick it in initially because it didn't say the black sesame or something. I was like, ah, the sesame I know. I know black sesame, but I've not, I didn't think that the oil was made from the black sesame i just thought it was made from the white one so i just bought just the white one right i mean so when i now saw that there was no white sesame oil then i just settled for that one joe you guys i went and i bought one cantonese sauce that's that one that i'm pointing at because me i like chinese rice and i cannot be using all my money to be buying chinese take you every single time so i wanted to come be making it in my house i don't know how close to it i'll get but i attempted one this morning by the way and it actually tasted good <laughs> as in when i'm talking now i'm talking like in like is it post site or no in hindsight yeah i'm talking in hindsight obviously regard recording this video because i already recorded the video so i use this sauce that i'm holding out to actually cook some really really nice rice and it turned out really well um i must say you know i put my egg and stuff but guys it was still not as nice as the chinese i mean but i'm not chinese you want to back bari you woo me you cannot finish my money on top uh, take you take you every time anyway i put it in my basket I go oyster sauce. I go light soy sauce because dark soy sauce, I think I just make my food just a bit stingy. And I go oyster. Uh, I also get sweet chili. I can't remember what else I go. But yeah, and I was able to just put all of them together and cook back. Well, just, just mix jumbo everything. And then uh, jambalaya rice. That, that is what they call it. But yeah, uh, I was just trying to show you that I think maybe that there's um gluten free stuff, like so if you have like maybe allergies or stuff and you don't want the one that has wheat based or stuff or soy based, there's the gluten free one as well, right? So I've just picked up that light soy sauce in my basket. There's just so much to choose from, guys. So I also settled for the oyster. Like you just see all sorts of sauces that if you don't know what you're looking for, you just be lost. Uh, so but i'll just say go on recommendation anybody that you know that's cooked with stuff just ask them and then you can know at least what to buy you will not be lost in the, uh, the chinese section right so here we have the different types of fishes prawns they even do crab here they do like everything different sizes of prawns this is like your tiger prawns and stuff and i remember i used to use this it's quite good and everything it's good um it costs four pound ninety nine, or is it five ninety nine? Actually, four ninety nine will probably be for something else there. I'm approaching the biscuit section, now, and I was just looking at all your nice cookies. Can you remember Danish cookies, guys? from nigeria like all these types are here they don't do it well anymore like i don't even know wherever it's maybe it's just because i'm buying it from here this is your pot section so different types and colors of pots anything you're actually looking for sizes i think they even have the bigger ones inside but not too far from this place is actually another place that they do pots and all these things anyway i settled for paliji because you know, it just made me remember Nigeria and stuff. Um, it's like this milk with my malt biscuit. So I just bought one because I wanted my kids to try it. So I come and buy a big packet. Also, if they don't like it. And actually, they actually do like it and everything. So I am quite happy. Next time I come to the shop, I'm definitely going to buy uh, more Paliji, if not the whole pack, the bigger pack. Okay, so um, I'm just going to look for some more stuff. I'm just in the indomie section. So remember I told you that they do box. So they do box of green indomie, of maybe um, chicken indomie and all, all of that from Nigeria, from Ghana, etc, etc. So whichever is your choice. And I think they are slightly different prices. So it's just up to you. They have the fufu here, the pounded yam, your ground rice, your 
puff puff chin chin gary cassava <laughs> guys so i was just exploring this fish oh. i think this is what they call ghanaians call one man thousand and i think they use this to make like their shito pepe uh stuff correct me if i'm wrong if you're ghanaian and you're watching this just let me know but i think this is part of what one of the ingredients that they will use they will blend it so i know they also use it to make their fish powder as well so guys i was just trying to show you that they do cassava flour and farina if you know farina i use it to make starch for my edu and delta people brothers and sisters they also do banku and shito and stuff like that so yeah uh this is cabin biscuit to thank god they did not overprice it one pound 69 they have cabin here i was so shocked to see it like guys hey these are their dry stuff so dry african ingredients your kazi uziza uh, uba crayfish catfish pepe soup spice suya pepe red crayfish whatever you name it prawns obono <laughs> dry okra etc etc everything is just there and then they have their prices on the wall as well as you can see they also have your baby section serilac milu milk you know it just depends on the size that big serilac like there is eight pound ninety nine now what i'm showing you is the second freezer that has fish oh. because remember the one i showed you earlier was just the small small fish these are the big ones your ruhu katila those types of fishes that are as big as human being size yeah those fishes that if they hit you like this you can't even eat you. <laughs> you can fall on the floor <laughs> but yeah so they range from 3.99 5.99 per, per kilo i think so i was just trying to bring one out just to show you size this was a baby one and i said let me come and find bigger one see another one this one i don't think this camera is doing it justice the thing was actually quite big like see it's half of my torso or me my whole foot torso gone safe i think i was looking for another one that was another size let me just see whether i hey it was heavy you people cannot imagine how much this will cost and they can help you cut it as well that's just so you can you know they can actually help you cut it into pieces and you can get a lot or if you want to just take it home like that and do barbecue feast for for the community please invite me thank you <laughs> right i am just gonna go to the next section which is i saw the i saw the crushed chilies outside like i showed you earlier on in the video and i actually ran out of crushed chilies at home so i wanted but this one was too expensive i think five pounds 69 for a smaller pack or maybe was it 12 something i was just like please tara bye bye as in i don't have time for plenty i'm looking for a small so i took it to the till just to ask them if they had any and the guy at the till kindly went to find one that was one pound something for me and that did the job okay so let's address the elephants in the room you guys can see all of this fresh meat me i'm here talking about pepe 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 pe. let's get into the real deals i said talk about the meat so you have your assorted meat so from your ears your cartilage your nose your tongue liver kidney shaki everything you name it is all here right so you have lamb this good head i'll just show you that good head is here from kobe shewu <laughs> whatever it is that you wish to buy at the butchers right this is the chicken section so you see chicken section is separate from the beef section they also have turkey here they have smoked turkey they can help you cut it as well your hard chicken is three pound fifty each or three for eight pounds ninety nine that's what they call the hens and um, they had i asked i asked the guy that he should give me i don't think he had the full ones that three pound fifty one so i told him that he should give me maybe three pounds in money or something um or was it four pounds in money I was just ordering it here that's why i'm focused on the uh, turkey see that guy going with the the meat yeah i'm just showing you that it's all halal meat that is here fresh lamb fresh goat fresh chicken all the different places anyway part of the animal so i now told the guy that he should give me um one the hard chicken that was there he only had thigh and leg so and i said he should give me that was the only part of the hard chicken and i said give me three pounds money so you can actually tell them the amount you want in money and they will wait for you and when the guy waited for me oh my guys i was so shocked i was like oh my god the thing is plenty you like it's almost as if i actually bought those three uh or even two hands like the full one because if you tell them to give you the full one they will actually cut it they can cut it for you and stuff i've said that before uh, just so that um you know so these were the hard chicken that were just thigh and lego and the guy helped me cut it 
guy guys it was it was actually decent decent size and i think i just ordered like three pounds well, can you see how many speaking i think you wanted one extra gun safe i was just like whoo thank you can you see he added another one. i say hey hey three pounds money i don't buy chicken for two weeks or even <laughs> But yeah, guys, so that was kind of see two ninety nine. That was the amount. The guy even still came back to okay. No, I thought he was adding more. But yeah, it was that two ninety nine. So that was correct. It was three pounds. I told him money, and he managed to give me that much and still cut it for me for two pounds ninety nine. These are your goats, your meat, your mutton, your lamb. I always buy something called sheep mix. So you just mix it like the shoulder, the different cuts of the sheep. And stuff and it's a bit tender sometimes so it's a bit if you want like your lighter goat meat but there's a friend of mine that actually told me that you know that she wasn't really used to having all those things that like it's just normal goat that she she knows how to have so you can probably ask these guys because can you see the animals they literally bring them straight from the abattoir as soon as they've done it prepped it fresh and like i showed you it's halal as well um so for uh, my muslim brothers and sisters who um, are looking for halal shops this is a halal shop one of many anyway and um for those of us who are not really forced as long as it's in his meat <laughs> we are good <laughs> yeah and it's cheap <laughs> so yeah um i'm christian by the way so uh, what, what, I, what i mean by that is for those of us that are not forced about whether it's halal or not you can you know decent prices here um right so this is your goat i'm getting the sheep mix like i told you so maybe i told them that they should give me four pounds in money or something so um i think it thing i think that amount uh, amounted to about five pounds bang on maybe i said four pound fifty so that was okay i just needed a small pot of assorted pepper soup i like to buy the um see how i'm choosing i like to buy the ears of the animal because it's, i like the crunch that comes when you boil it so it's like the cartilage i don't know if you remember when we were growing up we used to have like biscuit bone that's like the kind of crunch that i like and you, it has like a bit of pomo skin on it it's very it's very cool so for sometimes when i can't get that ijebu pomo if i just eat this cartilage it's very very nice so that is kidney i bought some kidney i bought some liver as well there's shaki there's, there's the towel one there are the different shape types so there's the one that looks like that has like different patterns on it and then there's the other type um you have your ducros curry your thyme all your spices here maggi no salt fish for my jamaicans palm oil like you people i think i was just waiting for them to cut my meat which is why i was just showing you people all the other things on the shelf i wasn't getting carried away don't worry um what else did i buy they have oxtail here just so you know if you like to make some oxtail soup or sauce or stew there you are well the guy has given me all my meats i'm putting them in the basket and your girl is heading to the till to pay Hello, guys. Yeah, I think i'm good i think i'm good oh i didn't know that this one had this powder no no it's back but it's like 16 pounds for this side, I'm doing a 16 pounds. I don't know why they brought the back big and heavy. And then the, the extra one, there's like a really, really large one. Four point, almost 5 kg one is 34 pounds. This one is the 1.8 kg. That is that one. That's really good. Oh, I hope No joking. Yeah, the cooking sauce I wanted to buy, I think it's this one. It's actually quite nice. The new products. Which one is this? Let me get this one. This one is nice. Mm, I think it's this one. I'm sure it's this one. Windmill. Jamaican scotch bonnet. It's, it's probably this one. Let me. This is it's okay. Not too bad. Alright. Let me go and peel. This one, 1000. Bye. Should I? It looks so good. Like I just want to sit down and just eat it. <laughs> oh, we use it to make like a pepper sauce. Oh, oh, oh. Let me buy it. It's two pounds nineteen. Oh my God. Is this what Ghanaians call one man thousand? Let me know. I don't know. This small, small, tiny, tiny fish like this. But let me know. What else? I have everything. I, I do even have jollof cooking sauce. What does that mean? Yeah, your usual rice. Jollof rice, nine pound fifty. Tolly boy, oh, 
I sleep 10 kg, 21 pounds, 99. Go and get skinny. It's a big boy. For parts. Go and get it. So that's it. I have brown rice in it. Oh, the tissue is 7.50 for this big one. Come on, take it. Super Jumbo. Jumbo. Super Jumbo is 8.50. And they are, they are 36 instead. Okay, let's just buy this one. 8 pounds. Okay, hi there. Yeah, I've decided that I want Super Jumbo for today. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, these are amounts. I'm thinking of buying more though. Oh my god, it's Nigerian Fanta. A Nigerian cook. Okay, let me see. I don't know the price of this one. Thank you. Okay, this is good. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Ah, nice one. This is a smaller one. Thanks. Guys, I'm done. I am done. I am going home. I'm going to go and load this into the car. It was a worth it trip and I probably bought more than I could. Just show you that you had more money at the one pound it was twenty not nine. And it smells so good. Oh my god. Hey there. Yeah, I just wanted to I just wanted to know. Do you do that thing where you feel like you want to really want to buy something or you you say ah i have this in mind but you forget and then you go to the shop and you sit there and you're like ah yeah, yeah yeah i wanted this one so let me know if you actually did it is it called overbuying or is it genuinely that you forgot let me know in the comment section below thank you guys so much for watching hit that subscribe button like share with your friends and family and take care bye